Philip Berchi is uh, joining us now from Zurich. He's chief strategist at Bank Saracen. Uh, thanks very much for being with us, uh, Philip. First of all, what's your uh, take on what you'd like to hear from the world's central bankers today? Well, uh, I think uh, they, they can't say uh, too, too much. Uh, for, for now, I think what they, they do is sort of make a, probably some pre-announcement that uh, the markets can expect some policy loosening in, uh, in coming months, but it's probably too early to expect any firm action by the, the ECB today. So uh, I think the, the problem is for financial markets to, to really be asserted or uh, get a boost, uh, they need to see some action and not only words. And I think all we can expect today uh, is, is some, uh, some, some calming words. So if the markets get these words, are they going to drop significantly? Are we going to see a big disappointment? Well, I think, uh, as you could see yesterday in markets, they are still very volatile, uh, extremely driven by some uh, words and hopes. Uh, so I think uh, there will be, over the coming weeks, there will be some disappointments that we get not uh, action either by uh, the central banks or even by, by uh, President Obama. These are also words, not action. So what we need to see is uh, so, some action. And for that to happen, probably either markets have to go some, uh, a bit lower to really scare politicians, or on the other hand, the economy has to deteriorate further before we see any action. So the volatility continues for how long? Well, I think it will continue for, for, uh, for a couple of, of months, probably even until year end, uh, because uh, the, the recession you fears are likely to grow in the market. So it's uh, clearly too, uh, too early to, to give sort of a, a, a signal to, uh, for volatility to co come down. I think we need to see the, this action. We need to see a stabilization in the economy before we can sort of see some uh, sustainable recovery in markets as well. What is your prediction, though? It wasn't long ago we were talking about analysts at some of the banks saying that they still expected significant upside on the S&P 500 in the States, for example, because they did expect to see stimulus before the year end. Where are you, do you, what do you expect in terms of the end levels for these markets? Well, I think uh, back in the second quarter, what, uh, what was the hope still is that the economy can recover from the soft patch in the second quarter. But things have changed dramatically. If you look at the latest indicators like the PMIs across the world, they are falling uh, to a level below 50. And uh, the momentum on the downside is very strong. Confidence is very weak. So the economy is likely to deteriorate and markets are likely to end the year lower compared to today. So tell us, where, are you, where should investors put their money right now? What is your advice? Where is their money safe? Where do they have an opportunity here? Well, I think within inequities, the opportunities are on the one hand on the, on the very uh, defensive uh, large cap blue chip names with high dividend yields. I think that's the safe part of the portfolio. Clearly, also these are volatile, but at least you get some uh, dividend. I think what's also interesting on the other hand is sort of the emerging market story. Here we have also seen sharp setbacks, but uh, the growth should be more robust on, on a relative basis compared to the industrialized countries. And uh, these are trading at very cheap valuations. So I would I use a barbell strategy, uh, having some defensive names, but also some uh, emerging market growth in a portfolio. What about when it comes to currencies? You're of the belief that the Swiss central bank's action is going to stay. It's going to continue to, it's going to keep that Swiss franc at the level where they want it. Well, I think the, the announcement was very strong and so far also credible. Uh, the, 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 the sort of semi-peg on the downside is now at 120. So I think the, the incentive for speculators to bet against the central bank is, is quite small because they will lose money. And I think uh, over time the, the Swiss franc will continue to weaken. So that's probably no other opportunity uh, in terms of the market that there's an asymmetric risk on the, on the Swiss uh, franc and uh, for, for speculators, I clearly would uh, advise to, uh, to uh, bet on a weaker uh, Swiss uh, currency. I also think the central bank will probably lift this 120 uh, in due course because 120 is not uh, a level which is enough for, for the Swiss economy. Uh, the Swiss franc needs to weaken further or, or the Swiss economy will fall into a recession. Philippe Berchi there of Bank Saracen. Thanks very much for being with us.